You know, Lazy Boy would not be Lazy Boy without its recliners. But do you know how they came to be? In 1927, two cousins set out to design a chair for nature's way of relaxing using orange crates. A little girl observed people relaxing and said, looks like a bunch of lazy boys, and the rest is history. Lazy Boy has come a long way from crates. Here's how. They use a solid block, high density foam inside their cushions, not stuffing. The edges are rounded off to create a more tailored look. Have you ever looked at the back of some sofas and you can actually see the wood frame, even poke your finger through? Lazy Boy adds padding to the back of their sofas. It makes it more durable and gives it a much more finished look. Here's two things to look for before you buy a sofa. Sit on the arm. Does it creak? Does it crack? Is it lumpy and hard? Lazy Boy actually puts padding into the arms of their sofa. They know you're gonna sit on it anyway, so it might as well not only look good, but be comfortable. And check the weight of a sofa. If you can lift it up easily, or kick it across the room with your knee, probably doesn't have much weight to it. The good thing about a Lazy Boy sofa is not only that it's durable, but it has some really good weight to it. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries has 10 Arizona locations. Visit LazyBoy.com for more information or call 602-426-5292 and be sure and ask about their free design services.